What is up guys, welcome to another episode of my club preview today I'm going to be showing you the new players, my upgraded players that I banked on Basically got a quite a bit of profit on And some of the losses I think I lost on the second inform Tevez But I don't, I don't really mind that And also, one thing is for sure is St. Patrick's Day profit Now let me know in the comment section below guys who are you banking on to go up in price? I mean, all the Irish players are going to go up in price, but you have McGeady that might go up in price. You have Inform Stokes that might go up in price. I think anyone that opens packs now and gets Irish players, make sure you look out for them and keep them. Anyway, if you guys are looking for a cheap, reliable place to get your coins, check out battertoday.com. The link will be in the description. Use the code ETON to get 5% off. Now, to begin with, I'm just going to show you some of the plays that I packed and some of the plays I have sold since, you know, uh, two weeks ago. So we packed the Schweinsteiger, sold him for 61,000 coins, still going for a pretty decent price. Next up, we have Neuer, sold him for 63,000 coins, 63.5. Um, Eto packed him as well, 29k, pretty decent. Next up, we have Chiellini, only sold for 8k, he's going down in price. Um, Rooney... 35k, that's a really good price. I expected him to be cheaper than that, but I think he's starting to go up again. Maybe he's getting an inform this week, that is why. Um, moving on to Baines, 1k, and this is as soon as I saw the team of the week was leaked. I saw a sec uh, second inform, Tevez was in it at 12 a.m. at midnight. I had to go out and just sell my Tevez, inform Tevez for 245k. I'm not too sure how much it goes for now, but thank fuck I actually did that. Now moving on, Jordi Alba is being listed for 1.6k now. And still I'm holding on to all these players, still waiting for the third inform batch and... Um, Third inform batch. What am I even on about? What am I even on about? What the fuck came into my mind to even say that? The transfer batch, I think it's the second one or third one, I'm not too sure. But EA's taking their sweet ass time to release the transfers. When are they going to release the new transfers? Who the fuck knows? So, I pretty much lost money on this guy because I was banking on EA taking them out of packs and shit. But fuck that. Anyway. Moving on to the squads and some of the players that have been, well, have been upgraded. I'm going to show you them right now. So to begin with, let me show you my loss. Second Inform Tevez, I bought him for 356k. This is mainly for the review, guys. And then, moving on to Giuseppe Rossi, upgraded version. I got him for a nice 30k. Really awesome price for a... Well, uh, upgraded Giuseppe Rossi, 89 shot, 86 dribbling and 84 pace. Really good overall stats. Then we have Inform Vidal, upgraded, going for 262k. Look at that profit right there. Really nice for an 87 card Vidal. I'm not too sure how much he goes for now. And then we have upgraded Giroud, I bought him for 55k, but... But, this is for review purposes, so I got him early to review him for you guys. I never got him early to just, you know, um, use him for myself. So, I've, I'm not sure if I've lost money on Giroud or got money. I'm not too sure. But, moving on to Inform Stokes. I got him for 256k. I'm not too sure how much he goes for. I'm pretty sure he goes over 300k now. And then, this is the guy that I... So, I was supposed to review this guy yesterday. But, since I own both of them... Let me show you. Since I own, actually let's not switch Ronaldo, let me just show you the mistake I did. I had both of these guys, and the mistake I did was, in my club, I put this guy instead of the 81 that I had, which was stupid of me, and I reviewed the wrong player. Sorry about that yesterday, but then I had to switch the title. Thank God I never reviewed the inform, so I, could, uh, I didn't have to delete, uh, delete the video. All I had to do was switch inform. And uh, instead of second inform in the title, change the thumbnail and that is all there is to it. So thank God I never reviewed the um, inform. Then we have Cristiano Ronaldo still own him, haven't played with him yet. Still first owner, fresh first owner Ronaldo right there. And then this is the guy we packed yesterday. Why the hell am I even keeping him? You know what, let's discard him. There's no point of him. Um, I think he goes for the discard price. Anyway, then I got this guy. This guy I bought him just yesterday, guys, for basically this discard price. The reason I bought him is because he has really good work rates and I love his non-inform. And also, inform Drogba is coming out, so I really want to make the best Galatasaray team. So I made sure I bought this guy before he might go up when Drogba's out. And then, 
That is all there is to it. So that's all there is to it for this episode. Now, let me know, who are you banking on for St. Patrick's Day to go up in price? St. Patrick's Day is basically going to be a tournament that's happening in two weeks in two weeks' time. Not even that, maybe in a week's time. I can't remember the exact date. But guys, the reward of the tournament is what makes the demand for Irish players so high. So imagine EA make the reward if you win the St. Patrick's Cup. Basically, I don't know, 20k, 25k and the premium gold pack, a shit ton of people are going to be playing it. And even if the road is bad, people are still going to be wanting Irish players because Ultimate Team players just really want a new tournament. And we've all been craving for a new tournament and we're going to get one on St. Patrick's Day. Now, if EA troll us and not get, you know, release a St. Patrick's Cup, then we are all fucked. But I have it from Stokes, going to sell him on when St. Patrick's Cup is about to start and buy him back when St. Patrick's Cup is gone. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate a like. Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Who are you banking on to go up from the Irish players? Who have you price fixed? Let me know in the comment section below. I haven't done any of that because, well, I don't really need to. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a very nice day.